Welcome back to another video. Today we are speedrunning Planet Shaper. We start off the speedrun by talking to the Delta cultist who is outside of Station A. Then we are going to take a quick detour and bully three thugs to get enough money to buy a bike. I would have talked to the Delta captain first if I saw a shard somewhere around the map, but there wasn't any, so I had plenty of time to prepare before the next shard spawns. Now we will talk to the Delta captain. He will give us the quest to obtain Planet Shaper, and also inform us that our first mission is to find and collect 15 fragments. I like to call them shards instead of fragments, so I will just call them shards to not confuse you guys. Anyways we got two items from the Delta Captain, a transmitter and tome 1. The transmitter beeps when a shard spawns, so we will be using this a lot to look for the 15 shards. Tome 1 basically tells you a part of Planet Shaper's lore, which won't help you with anything for the quest. So I'm going to store Tome 1 and wait for the next shard to spawn, which should be in the next 30 seconds. A shard spawns every 5 minutes, but there are times where it doesn't spawn. I honestly do not have an idea on why it happens, since the shard spawn chance is always 100%. We are going to pray and hope that it won't happen too often, because I'm sure we will run into that problem once or twice at least. Now we are going to server hop after collecting the first shard. Our goal is to find servers that already have a shard spawned, or servers that are 1-2 to two minutes close to spawning the next shard. We can easily tell if a shard spawned by using the transmitter. It's basically chest hunting, but you have a tool to help you. One more thing that I will try to remember to do is to store my bike right after I equip it. It saves me a little time from storing two items at once when I server hop, since there is a cooldown after you store an item. Keep in mind that I said I will try to remember. A shard did not spawn in this server after 5 minutes. I made sure to stay here for a full 1 minute before server hopping, since I know that it have a few seconds delay before spawning after the said spawn time. It's really unfortunate that this happened in the first server I hopped into. Luckily our time was made up by the third server, and we found our second shard. It already spawned before I joined the server, so I didn't have to waste any time waiting. I found the third shard in the next server I was in. This time I had to wait 3 minutes, but hey, anything for that shard. I found the fourth shard 4 minutes later, the server was rather empty as well. Maybe I should have just stayed here for the rest of the shards to avoid any competition. I went back to this area again, because I saw something weird, and I wanted to check it before I go. What is that? How in the world did these two thugs even come up here? I don't think AUT's physics can even do this. Well, that's one minute wasted. Time to go. I nearly missed the fifth shard which is located right next to Gasta. Luckily I saw it at the corner of my eyes and collected it. I was only focused on checking the spawns near the temple, but not below the temple, so I could have very well missed this one by accident. Thank god I did not though. I found the sixth shard 2 minutes later. We are currently on a streak for finding a shard in every server we are in, except for the first one. I found the seventh shard a minute later. The shard literally spawned the moment I joined the server, but it took me one whole minute to find it lol. I found the 8th shard at the same location as the previous one. What a coincidence. I finally lost my streak in the next server I was in. Nope. It was pretty sad. Since I wanted to get a flawless, leave a like and subscribe if you feel bad for me. I managed to find the 9th shard in the next server I hopped into. If only I got this server instead of the previous one, then my streak would have remained. I found the 10th shard one minute later. I think I have found 3 shards at this same location which is quite insane, considering the fact that there are 17 other locations that the shard can spawn at. I'm going to jump skip to me finding the last and final shard, since I have literally nothing else to say. I immediately noticed that a delta cultist and a shard spawned in this server, so I was trying to find the last shard before the delta cultist could despawn. Why must I find it before the delta cultist could despawn? Well just stay and find out. I found it at a location where it's right next to the Delta Captain. We are going to grab it and talk to Delta Captain straight away. I know, you don't have to tell me, the quest is bugged. Luckily unlike other bugged quests, 
this one have a fix to it, and all you need to do, is talk to the Delta cultist again. For some reason this bug only happens, when you join a different server with the quest. I'm pretty sure this is what most of the people are complaining about as well. So here you go, a very easy solution to fix this problem. We are going to talk to the Delta Captain again, and this time he will give us an astral key, which we will use to unlock the astral chest. I got the transmitter in Tome 1 again, because I technically resetted my quest by talking to the Delta Cultist, but I still kept my old quest progress. Alright this is the part, where I tell you to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video, so please consider doing that, if you haven't already. I'm going to do this in every video now, so just be prepared to like and subscribe, so you can skip this part. An astral chest spawns every 30 minutes with a 30% chance. Fun fact this info was only given to us one month after the update. Crazy right? I wonder why it took them so long to tell us. Anyways I decided to server hop and look for servers that are close to spawning an astral chest. I found this random character model near the thugs. I wonder how this got here. This is my first time seeing something like this in a server. It makes more sense if you stand next to it because of the shirt lol. Is that what I think it is? Yup it's an astral chest. I opened it and got tome 2. Now we are going to reddit and get sent into the minigame. I beat this minigame without breaking a sweat. I have no idea on how people fail this minigame. It's literally the easiest thing to do. You must have skill issue if you fail this minigame. I'm just joking. Please don't dislike the video. I don't really have any tips for this minigame. All you have to do is avoid the non-moving rocks and go through all the hoops to win, which I think anybody can do and understand. I did hit some rocks while making my way to the end. It doesn't matter though, since hitting one or two rocks won't decrease your time left to complete the minigame by a lot, but it shows that I too have a bit of skill issue at one of the easiest minigame. I hope that made some of the people who failed the minigame feel better. See the minigame is easy, now we are going to talk to a guy who I suppose is Delta, and obtain the Shaper's Essence, which we will use to obtain Planet Shaper. <laughs> and that's time, 1 hour and 4 minutes. Before I start explaining why this speedrun is good. I'm going to give away this planet shaper in my discord server, linked in descriptions. The time it took me to find the 15 shards carried this speedrun by a lot. I will need to spend at least 75 minutes to get all the shards, if I didn't server hop, but since I server hopped and prayed, I managed to find all 15 shards in 40 minutes, so I technically saved 35 minutes of my time looking for shards, and the best part is, that the delta cultist and the last shard spawned together, meaning that I could fix my bugged quest, and finish the first part of the quest at the same time, and I don't have to wait, or server hop again to look for a delta cultist, to fix my quest. The astral chest didn't take me that long to find as well, to put it simply. I had really good RNG during this entire speedrun. Obviously something like this won't happen that often, and it took me many tries before getting such good RNG, so please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my uploads. Doing any of these things will help me out a lot, and I really appreciate it if you could. I will see you on my next video. Goodbye. Hehehehehe <laughs>